back to 30 Things to Store, your video series to help you figure out where to keep the stuff that you probably have around your house. I am Shauna of The Shauna Method. We are on day 16. And I should mention that these little videos are not in any specific order. So if this is your first video or the first day you're stopping in, you can click around and look at any of the other videos and it won't matter when you see which one. So today we're talking about where to store your loose change. And by change, I mean nickels, dimes, quarters, and pennies, and perhaps for some of you, international currency. Depending on how old you are, you may decide to store your stuff in different places. So let's start just quickly with children. If you have children in the house, I recommend you get them a little bank. There is the traditional piggy bank, but there are also about a million different kinds of banks on the market. And also sometimes kids paint little banks uh, at a decorative, you know, clay kind of ceramics painting place. So that can be a good little bank too. If you don't want a bank, you can give them any other container that would hold change. And that would be my recommendation for the adults. Sometimes women tend to keep their change in their wallet. They carry a larger wallet. This is fine. But I find that most men do not carry change around. So they come in the door, they empty out their pockets of their keys and any change that is left from the day, and it frequently ends up on the kitchen counter or on a table that's near whatever door they tend to walk in. So I think it's just a general good rule of thumb to have some sort of change collecting container that is near the door, whatever door you come in. What should that container be? It doesn't really matter. You can get a bank, but you can also use this opportunity to use some of the items you have in your house that perhaps you received as a wedding gift or a child made and decorated for you and you don't really know what to do with them, change holder is the answer. So if you got a little glass or a crystal bowl, perfect container for change. If somebody gave you a little memento jar or dish and it has a little thought around the edge, great collector for change. So it can be anything, I would say, Perhaps pick one that matches your decor that you like, not too big, so it can sit some, let me, on an entry table or on that corner of the kitchen counter but not take up a lot of space. You can also tuck a small container in a drawer so you could open the drawer, drop your change inside. Doesn't really matter, just make sure that you have one. That's a simple tip today, right, for day 16. See you tomorrow on 30 Things to Store.